Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Earth Negative 32, aka Dawnbreaker. Dawnbringer? I always forget which one. And Hal Jordan Green Lantern. I am super pumped to be taking a look at the Hal Jordan. Obviously, I have taken a look at the Dawnbreaker before. Um, you can check that review out. It's been done. Almost a year now. <laughs> like, this, yeah, I feel like this was supposed to come out way earlier than it did. But, anyways, you can see the packaging here. Nice cool poses in there. Uh, on the bottom of the box here, you can see who the characters are. On the side, you can see, again, who the characters are and where it's from. Uh, Dark Knight's Metal. There's the back of the packaging. You can see, you know, the the picture of the two figures. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's just whatever. There's all the other figures you can pick up. I did review all of them except for the unmasked Red Hood. But I did review the masked Red Hood from the two-pack. So if you want to check that out, please do. There's the other side, DC Multiverse, the names, McFarlane toys right there. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you. Anyways, let's get these guys opened up and see how cool Hal really is. Alright, we got the Green Lanterns out of the packaging and... I gotta say, I uh, I really like Hal. I think he's really cool. Um, unfortunately, my Hal got a very loose arm. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to fix that, but, you know, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Anyways, let's just, let's just talk about him, uh, Don Breaker, real quick. I obviously reviewed this figure, but I just want to take a second to say, my god, this is a great figure. Oh my goodness. He is so cool. Uh, the articulation is awesome. I love the sculpting work, especially around here. He he made number three in my top ten uh, DC Multiverse figures of 2020. So, that should say something. Um, but yeah, this is exactly the same figure. I don't even think there's any like new paint apps or anything. And if there is, I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I mean, I, I can't, not that I can tell. But maybe this right here? I don't know. I doubt it. But still, a phenomenal figure. So, he's cool. I, I do like him. And he does come with the same accessory piece right here. Which I do wish he did come with something new. Um, you know, why not? Anyways. How, uh, and we got a new card for him as well. Which you know, I, I really don't like. The picture of the toy. I'd rather the picture of the comic book art, but in case you want to read it, here you go. Pause it now. There you go. Dawnbreaker. Okay, there we go. And then here's the card for Hal Jordan. And here's the back. If you want to read it, pause it now. There you go. And now let's take a look at the accessories of Hal Jordan. So you get this boxing glove, this flaming boxing glove, which looks really cool. Love the Green Lantern logo right there. The flames look nice. Yeah, it looks cool. It's definitely for the right hand. So that's, you know, that's good, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Looks nice. I like it. And then you get this little jetpack thing. I don't get why, you know, why McFarlane's so obsessed with giving... These Green Lanterns, like, backpacks, because it just doesn't make any sense. But, uh, this one's cool. Yeah, it's nice. I like the flames. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, uh, Batman Beyond effects, but, anyways. Still, looks nice. I do like it. And then the base is really cool, too. So, obviously, this side is definitely Hal Jordan's side, and there's a peg hole right there. Is there another one around? Not that I can feel. Yeah, I don't think so. And you get this little missile here, which looks cool. You get the Green Lantern logo on that as well. And you can see the chain and the octopus tentacle and the ooze. It, it, yeah, it, it looks sick. This is definitely the best base we've gotten from McFarlane Toys. Better than the, um, that, uh, awful, um, base we got with the, uh, Red Death and, uh, Flash. Like, that was just weird. Anyways, here is Hal Jordan. I'm not going to lie. I think the head is a little weird. I, you know, it looks a little, like, chunky. You know, like, I don't know. It's, I just don't picture Hal Jordan when I 
see this head sculpt. But the hair looks nice. I like the brown hair. It pops out, so that's good. The mask is good. Um, I think it points up a little bit, so now it kind of looks like powering too much, but still not too bad. The flesh tone is fine. Like I said, it's just a little looks like he's on the little chonky side. So there's that. Get the uh, I was about to say Iron Man logo, Green Lantern logo right there. This is the exact same body mold as our friend uh, John Stewart. Um, same line, same everything, just different paint. Um, which is, you know, not, you know, I would have rather the new body mold for the, for the figure, um, just to make it look a bit smoother, but still, it looks nice. Get the ring there, I do wish it was sculpted, like the logo, but it's fine. The nice white on the, uh, wrist there, looks like a cop. That's the point, um, there's the back, you can see the peg hole where you can put the effect. You can put this in his hand, you just, you know, slide it on. I like the little, you know, details on the suit. Looks good. And you get the feet. Yeah. Like I said, it's pretty much this, like, we're get, we're basically getting two new figures. Like, two figures of, that we've already gotten before. Um, which, you know, it's kind of unfortunate, but still, you know, now we have an official Hal Jordan figure from DC Multiverse. And again, I, I do have to say this. It's refreshing to get a non-Batman character. Um, even though it's not as refreshing as it could be, you know, with him being the same body mold as Jon Stewart. But still, you know, it's, it does look good, I, I have to admit. And uh, I do wish he came with a fisted hand, but whatever. All right. I'm not even going to go over the articulation because I did do that on this figure before with the uh, John Stewart figure. So I'm going to put Don Breaker aside and put Hal Jordan right there. So let's do some comparisons. Let's do a McFarlane comparison first. So here is John Stewart. And uh, these two look good together. I think Hal's head looks a little big too, but that's just me. And then here is. You know, another figure that came in a two-pack with a death metal figure. Or, death metal. Metal figure. Um, the Flash. So yeah, these two look really cool together as well. You know, they are good friends in the comic books. I don't know why he won't stand, but there we go. You know, they, they, this Hal isn't specific to anything, but these two are specific to Rebirth. So... I'm just gonna assume this is how and rebirth as well. All right, now time for the ultimate how comparison. So here he is next to the uh, DC Essentials How Jordan, which is probably the best one of all the ones I'm gonna be bringing out. Uh, and then here is the DC Icons, who has a very very loose arm, which sucks, but. Yeah, hopefully I can fix that as well. And then here is DC Universe Classics, my second favorite. And then DC Collectibles, uh, Justice New 52 Justice League, Hal Jordan, which I think could possibly be a knockoff. I'm not 100 percent sure. So there you go. Um, yeah, man, they you know they all look cool. Obviously, um, Hal Jordan is very is a very cool character, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. He looks nice. Uh, I, I I still have to go with this one as my uh, favorite Hal Jordan Green Lantern figure, though. Uh, it just has that classic look. And the head sculpt is probably the best one out of all of them, too. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, you know, I have two Hal Jordans with messed up arms. Like, the arm on this one is so loose it feels like it's going to break. And then the uh, the arm, the left, the right arm on this one is the ball joint that rotates it is loose as hell too. So that's unfortunate. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, do all the good stuff. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, this was you know mainly a Hal Jordan review, but you know that's okay. Um, let's have him doing this. Even though I hate that it's not a closed fist. 
Um, so yeah, this is definitely a Hal Jordan review over Hal Jordan and Dawnbreaker. But uh, still, I, I really, I really do love this figure, and I recommend picking it up if you like Batman as Green Lantern. But uh, anyways, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.